Hey babe. Yes. I have a question for you. Okay. Do you really want to taste it? <laughs> Good look for you. I know it's so pretty. You look like a nerd pirate. <laughs> it's like an eye patch. It's like if I had an eye patch. Yeah. yeah. We're in Target in Florida. I don't know I'm which location. I'm doing a fidget hunting. I don't know. What, I think this is Hollywood, Florida. I don't remember. Yeah, Hollywood. Florida. It was a few miles from where we're staying. Anyway, we're gonna see what they got. Do a little toy hunt. Florida, Target with P Dog. Right? She wants to look for fidgets. It's Clarence stuff. Ooh. We can find New merch. Let's see what they got. Got a little AE dub action here. There's a Wardlow on the shelf. You don't really see a whole lot of Wardlow in Texas. Uh, Dr. Britt. We got Rusev. Ortiz antenna. Cape season. Capes for days. More capes. This guy's cool. Bam, carbonized, heavy. Uh, we got some uh, canes and takers. Oh, that's cool. It's a pin though, but it's cool looking. Um, usual suspects. There's a Fisto. And what else we got here? I'm trying to constantly talk so that it masks the music playing in the background so that I don't get copyright claims. So I'm just going to keep talking. Some Batman stuff. That's cool. That little uh, die cast Batmobile. Still have not seen the movie. I actually am going to be seeing it next Tuesday. What do we got here? Hot Rods. Rekkar. They do have some Batman stuff there. There's the Drifter, Unmasked, Gold Label, Hazmat. What did you find? Can I get this? No. Aww. How much is it? I don't know. I just found it. Go so scan it. Wild. Oh, it says it's $10. Maybe. Oh, this. It's a, it's a screw smell of it. Yeah, but $10. then it has to fit in your suitcase on the way back. I'm actually looking for, not this one. I'm actually looking for the uh, Catwoman, unmasked Catwoman. Um, oh, there's a penguin. Look at that. I have one coming from Walmart. Maybe I should just get this one and cancel my pre-order. That one looks pretty good. But they also have a couple spider armors here. Some of these expensive Joes. This is ridiculous. This price right here, ridiculous for these guys. These should be 10 bucks. If they were 10 bucks, they'd fly off the shelves. I would buy some, but not for 18. That's ridiculous. I might get this. I might get this. Old Colin Farrell. All right, next section. Wingnut, screw loose, Napoleon Attila, Redeemers, Batmobile. Do you really want to taste it? Baroness. Uh, is that it? Witcher. Joker with his uh, surf shorts on. And Buddy Murphy, Ace Ventura. That's what we got. That's what we're working with. Obesius. <laughs> Obesius. That's awesome. All right. We done here. Corn. Catwoman. Bam. Bam.
All right, so we are still in Florida, my friends, and we decided to take a little road trip, three and a half hours northwest to, what are you doing? <laughs> to Legoland. Look where we are, we're in the store. As soon as you come in, because they that's what we do apparently. You walk into a park, you go into the freaking gift shop. I like to wait till the end, personally, but the kids like to go into the gift shop as soon as we get into the park. So we are here in Legoland, my first time ever in this park. And uh, I'll show you what they got. Kyle has this right here. This is very, very cool. The Nintendo, and then this is pretty cool too. Little Super Mario Brothers block. Look at Chewbacca. How awesome is that? Stand normally. <laughs> that stand normally? <laughs> there is uh, Cape Canaveral, space shuttle. They got that big uh, transport thing there. That's so freaking cool. How cool is that? There's a little thing on minifigures here, and did you know Yoda is the first Lego minifigure with shorter legs? And look, Pong Krell even made the display. The first trademark Lego minifigures are presented with the launch of Lego Star Wars products. Look at Pong Krell. We need more Pong Krell stuff. Come on, come on. All right, so we're on a uh, boat ride right now, at least boat ride. Tay Tay's driving. <laughs> <laughs> no hitting anyone. Why is it not? Turn it, turn it. I am. Oh, okay. There's uh, P Dog and Mrs. Cincy right there. <laughs> We're gonna pass them. He's not coming. The two behind us cannot drive to save their butts. They keep driving into walls and stuff. Tay Tay here's an expert, uh, except we're about to hit the wall. Couple drunk drivers behind us. Return, dude. <laughs> oh no, we're getting we're getting spun out. You dingleberries. Now we're gonna be Oh, we spun out. We're backwards now. Good job. You guys suck. Okay, this is pretty cool. So big, I can't even get it in. That's what she said. All right, so here's Lego Chewbacca. Hopefully, I don't get any weird looks for this, but check out that bud, bro. All right, guys, back in the nerd bar, back from Florida. Had a great vacation, had a great time. Uh, came back to some cold ass temperatures. It was nice and warm down in Fort Lauderdale and Winter Haven. Went to Legoland, Winter Haven. Fort Lauderdale Beach was nice, but came back here, it was like in the 30s. Uh, by the way, if you hear panting in the background, it is not me, it's uh, El Doggo over there. Uh, so here's the thing that you saw in my little toy hunt that I did at Target. Um, that was a Target in Hollywood Beach, I think it was. I don't remember, but I found the penguin. So I saw Batman, the Batman. Loved it, thought it was great. I uh, had like two minor nitpicks, I'll tell you what they were. No, I, I won't tell you what they were because those are spoilers, but just very, very minor nitpicks. But other than that, I thought it was a great movie. I gave it a solid A. Uh, definitely want to see it again. Definitely want to buy the 4K Blu-ray when it comes out and have that physical media uh, in my collection. But uh, yeah, Penguin, got the Penguin, Colin Farrell. I thought he did a killer job as the Penguin. I thought he was freaking amazing. I thought he was awesome. So I got that. And then I came back to a box from Walmart because I bought some stuff from walmart.com and I found a couple more things and then I also came back to this t-shirt. I like to show these t-shirts every now and then because uh, I always wear t-shirts on these videos and people are like, dude, where did you get that freaking t-shirt? That's cool as hell. So uh, here's the one that I got. It is also DC related. It is not the Batman, but it's another DC property that came out this year, which I absolutely loved. And it is, do you want to taste it? Peacemaker, <laughs> look at that. Eat peace, mother effers, that's right. Peacemaker on an eagle, on eagly. Epic Hero, which I think is New Rockstar's merchandise place. Uh, I, I watch New Rockstar's on uh, YouTube. I like their channel. And I think this is their merch shop. So Epic Hero, check that out. Uh, I found two more Batman or The Batman figures, including this one right here. Got the Selena Kyle, the Catwoman, even though it's not screen accurate. I don't think she ever had uh, the mask over her face like that. It was always like cut out in the mouth, but oh well. Still a cool figure. I am 
actively looking for the unmasked uh, Catwoman. That's, I think, the last figure that I want or need from the Batman. So I got this one. Definitely gonna hunt down that other version because I was able to find this one. I went to uh, one of my local Walmarts when we got back and uh, they actually had the stand up, the, the big old stand with all the McFarlane stuff. They were sold out of the 12 inch Batmans. They had the 12 inch Riddler. Uh, and then they had a bunch of waves from McFarlane. I searched and searched because I was looking for the unmasked Selena Kyle. And then I came across this one and this looks great. So it is the unmasked Pattinson, Robert Pattinson, Batman. And this head, if you can see it, I think that looks a lot better than the drifter head. I think that looks pretty damn good. So really happy to find this. Uh, I didn't think that I was gonna be able to find this because it's kind of a harder one to find. Is this a chase or is it like a exclusive or a variant? I don't know. I found it. So that's what's really cool about that. There's the back of the packaging right there. And then I got this box from Walmart. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick. So the first thing, I got three Star Wars items and I got one DC item. And here's the first Star Wars item. Bam. Yes. Yes, baby. This is the uh, Bad Batch Shock Trooper. I like the pauldron on there. Probably should have picked up more than one of these, but that's okay. I got my one. It'll go on the shelf. I'm really happy that I was able to pick that one up. And I'm very, very happy to pick these two up as well. And they look like they're in good condition. So Walmart did not F up the packaging on the way here. Uh, both of these next ones you're gonna see are vintage collection figures, including this one right here. This is probably gonna stay on card because this just looks awesome. Right there, look at that. Cameo by the ring light. But uh, look at that. Art Trooper Captain. Vintage collection figure. Look at that card art. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. Uh, and then there's the back. If you wanna see the back. Very, very cool. Last Star Wars item that you're gonna see in this haul. Really, really excited to, be, uh, to get this one. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get this one because it had been on the website and then it sold out several times. There's a few of these that, uh, it's a deluxe figure, a deluxe vintage collection figure. There's a couple of these that I was not able to get my hands on. Hopefully they go back up on the website. I definitely wanna pick them up, but I'm glad that I got this one right here. Look at that. There's Mando and there's that freaking spider from that snow planet that they crash landed on. And there's Grogu. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh, that's awesome, I love it. And his armor looks really shiny. Very, very cool, very awesome. I might keep this one on card too. This looks great. Very excited for this. The final McFarlane DC item you're going to see in this haul so I got this one, which you've seen already if you watch my videos. This is the Bat Cycle. I predicted that this was only gonna be in one scene, and yes, it was in one scene. Um, this one actually had a lot more screen time than that one. I got the Drifter motorcycle, and this is a great looking motorcycle. I'm actually very, very excited for that head sculpt, the helmeted head sculpt, because I have the Drifter, uh, Bruce Wayne, and that is gonna go right on it and he's gonna be standing next to it. And look at that. Look at that bike. I love the sculpt on this, the paint, the colors, they're scuffing on that right there. This looks awesome. Even if you're not collecting this series, this looks like a great motorcycle for other lines, for other figures that you have, six inch or seven inch. Hell yes. So bam, I got both motorcycles from, um, from the Batman. I really, really hope that McFarlane does a uh, Batmobile. I really do. I know Spin Masters has done one. It's kind of it's kind of kiddish, uh, kid looking. Um, I really want McFarland to give it a proper treatment. Uh, I think it, they could knock it out of the park. It could be nice and big. I know Hot Toys is doing one. That thing's going to be astronomical in price. I don't even know if I can afford that. But I hope that McFarland does one. He he did the '66 Batmobile, so hopefully he does the Batman. I mean, he knows that. That, that franchise is money right now. Todd McFarlane, if you're watching this, make a Batmobile from the Batman, because I'll buy one. I know I'll buy one. Uh, but there you go, guys, that was the video. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the vacation footage. Hopefully you enjoyed the hunt footage. Uh, had a great time. I know some of you were just here for the toy stuff, and that's fine. Hopefully you stuck around for the haul and for the hunt. 
uh, and I didn't take too much of your time to watch vacation footage, but we had a great time on vacation. It was a little mini vacation down in Florida, but uh, I'll share more of these if you guys wanna see this kind of stuff. I'm gonna try and sneak in toy hunts and whatnot. So just let me know in the comments if you liked this video or let me know by giving a thumbs up. That'll tell me if you like the video. I wanna let you know that there is a video that you need to watch. There's a video that you need to watch. It's on Not Another Retro Channel. Uh, if you are here for the premiere, then it might be the video right after this. I haven't talked to Craig yet about when we're actually going to be premiering his video, but it is something you do not want to miss. Trust me, trust me guys. You do not want to miss Craig's video, Not Another Retro Channel, check it out. If you're watching this not on the premiere, if you're watching it just at another day or another time, please go to Craig's channel, Not Another Retro Channel, and watch that video. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So there you go, guys. That's all I'm going to say about that. Check out that video and check out my other videos on here. And check out Craig's channel. Check out uh, his other videos as well. But thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.